Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and LandAndAirPhotos.com. In this unique quick tip, I'll explain the different resolution settings for still photos on your Seago 3 and Seago 3 Plus cameras. This is a unique quick tip for the Typhoon H and Q500 4K drones and the Seago 3 and Seago 3 Plus cameras. Have you ever tried to take a high resolution still photo with your unique Typhoon H or Q500 drone, only to find out that the picture turned out to be lower resolution than you expected? These drones have an odd connection between the video settings and the size of the still photos they capture. Two variables influence this situation your video settings, and the video photo mode toggle switch. I shot a series of pictures using different combinations of these two variables, and here's what I came up with. First, I shot several pictures with the video photo toggle set to video. With this selected, I shot a still photo with the video size set to 1920 by 1080 or 1080p, 2560 by 1440 or 2.7K, and 3840 by 2160 or 4K. By the way, frame rate had no influence on this test. A still image is essentially a single frame, so it doesn't matter if you chose 24 or 25 or 30 frames per second. All that matters is the width and height of your setting. So how did my pictures turn out? With the video photo toggle set to video, photo size matched the video resolution I had set. If you choose 1080p for your video setting, your still photo will be 1920 by 1080. Bump your video mode setting to 2.7K or 4K and your still images will increase to 2560 by 1440 or 3840 by 2160 respectively. Now I'll try this same test with the video photo toggle set to photo. The first thing you notice is that when you switch to photo, the shape of the image on your screen changes. The next thing you'll notice is that when you open your camera settings, your video quality option is grayed out. You can't change video resolution with the toggle set to photo. So I ran the test by putting the toggle to video. Changing the video resolution. then switching to photo on the toggle. And I found that the resolution setting had no effect with the toggle set on photo. Regardless of the video resolution I chose, once I hit the photo toggle switch, all pictures came out at 4000 by 3000 resolution. In my selected video settings, your image fits the proportions of 16 to 9. That means for every 16 pixels across, the video image is 9 pixels tall. This 16 to 9 aspect ratio is typical of what you find on most videos, most computer monitors, and most televisions. However, when you switch to photo on the toggle, your resolution is 4000 by 3000, or a 4 to 3 ratio. The 4 to 3 ratio is much closer to a square than 16 by 9. 4 to 3 uses the entire sensor to capture the scene, giving you a larger image to crop for prints and enlargements. Let me sum it up. If you set the toggle in video, your photo size will match your current video resolution. If you choose photo on the toggle, your stills will always be 4000 by 3000. So why would you choose one or the other? If you want to take pictures straight from your drone and put them on Facebook or in an email, Stick with video settings on the toggle and set your video to 1920 by 1080. Your pictures will be smaller and easier to send. If you want to use your pictures for a wallpaper on your desktop, stick with video on the toggle and choose the resolution closest to your desktop's display setting. This will probably be 1920 by 1080 unless you have a really large monitor. If you want to print your photos, Go with the photo toggle setting to get the most pixels for cropping to fit whatever size picture you're trying to print. Thanks for watching my video. 
I set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk about drones and arrange for opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find a playlist with many more tutorial videos on how to fly drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos will be released.